With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, in this question it is given that a copper atom has 29 electrons revolving around the nucleus. A copper ball contains 4 into 10 to the power 23 atoms. What fraction of electrons be removed to give the ball a charge of plus 9.6 microcoulomb? So here we have to calculate how many electrons are to be removed from this copper ball to make this copper ball charge of 9.6 microcoulomb. So, so what data have been given here? The number of atoms in the copper ball is equal to 4 into 10 to the power 23 and in each atom number of electrons is 29 so we can write number of electrons in each copper atom is 29 so the total number of electrons in the copper ball we can calculate a electron in the copper ball is equal to 29 into 4 into 10 to the power 23. Now we have to calculate how many electrons are to be removed to give the ball a charge of 9.6 microcoulomb. So you can write charge on the ball is equal to 9.6 microcoulomb. So we can calculate this by putting the formula that is Q is equal to N into E that is charge is always a integral multiple of charge of electron and we know charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So number of electrons we can calculate by dividing total charge divided by charge of electron. So here charge is 9.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. By dividing this we can get 6 into 10 to the power 13 number of electrons. That means 6 into 10 to the power 13 number of electrons are to be removed to make the copper ball a charge of 9.6 microcoulomb. But here the question is what fraction of electrons that means the electrons removed are what fraction of the total number of electrons that were already present in the copper ball. So we have to calculate the ratio fraction of electrons removed is equal to 6 into 10 to the power 13 divided by 29 into 4 into 10 to the power 23. By solving this we can get 3 by 58 into 10 to the power minus 10 that will be 5.17 into 10 to the power minus 12 which is nearly equal to 5.2 into 10 to the power minus 12. So in the options given in the question is option number D which is 5.2 into 10 to the power minus 12 is our correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.